Good fish, about 18 inches. She hammered that jackhammer. All right, so here is the first look on my channel at the Innovative Sportsman Osprey 1436. Um, I've been waiting for a while for this kayak. Um, we've been prototype testing for the better part of a year and some change. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to give a quick overview of the boat. Uh, I took it out in this area because I wanted to put it into some very turbulent water. Um, I wanted to see how it was going to perform in fast water as well as just water that changes directions. Like you'll see here, you know, where this bridge pier, there's an eddy behind it. A lot of times in a rotomolded kayak, when you enter that and then come out of it, you get pushed around a little bit by that, you know, by that current seam. And that didn't happen in this boat at all because of how much it just kind of glides across the water uh, due to the extremely shallow draft nature of, of the inflatable boats. But real quick, overview of the boat. Uh, Innovative Sportsman Osprey 1436. 14 is kind of a uh, uh, misconception there because it's actually 13 feet 9 inches long. The reason they did that is any boat that's 14 feet or longer requires registration. Anything that's under 14 feet does not. And that's in most states. I believe it's, I want to say it's in every state, but I could be mistaken. But that's the reason why they didn't make it a total 14 feet. Um, the price tag on this boat without the motor is going to be $1,999. Um, it's a drop stitch PVC platform without the track with just the boat is it's only 60 pounds. When you fully assemble the kayak and you put the track from bow to stern with the adjustable high low seat, it comes in at 85 pounds. Now in terms of inflate inflatables go, um, you know, it's a little on a heavier side than most inflatables. But that's because it's reinforced along the entire bottom side of the kayak as well as the side sides of the kayak where you'll land fish. Uh, most common pinholes or, or leaks that you get from an inflatable boat is due to fish fins, believe it or not. Um, and then, you know, dragging up and over stuff and, and creating issues on the bottom. But that's not going to be an issue with this boat because of the reinforcement in the areas. It has a capacity of 450 pounds, and it has a maximum horsepower rating of 5 horsepower. So you could really put, you know, a rather large motor on this thing. Nice little smallmouth, probably another one about 17 inches. Mm, 16 and a half. Nice though. Pretty girl. So I haven't yet done a speed and range test of any kind on this boat. Um, but what I can tell you is that it is incredibly fast. Um, and, and it's going to be 
really good in in the range department as well, just because of the the efficiency of the hull. So I'm excited to get that done, but that's going to be something that I'll do on flat water. In the meantime, anybody that's interested in this boat, that's thinking about buying this boat as their next kayak, and you're in the local area, reach out to me, get with me. I'll you know schedule some time. We can schedule some time and get you out there, and I'll let you test drive this boat the way I have mine set up. And if that will help you make a decision, um, then I would love to help you all do that.